this video, I'm going to be giving you guys my top 10 best DJ investments to make you the most money. What's up, bros? What's happening? What's going on? So, if you're like most DJs, you probably got into DJing for the music. No! But if you're a real DJ like myself, you know that DJing is actually all about the women, drugs, and best of all, the money. <laughs> So in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys my top 10 best DJ investments to make you the most money. <laughs> now before we get started with this video, it's only fitting that we thank the sponsor of this video, Robinhood. Start investing in your future today by investing in crypto and stocks using Robinhood. Use the link in my description and get a free stock worth up to $500. I've been personally investing a ton and my investments are going to the moon. Woo! All right, but in all seriousness, today we are talking about investing in DJ gear. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my top 10 best DJ investments. So without further ado, let's get started. Coming in at number 10, we have my DJ facade. It is a super inexpensive way to take your DJ setup from a 5 to a 10. It's an easy way to keep everything nice, tidy, and clean. In any business, the way you present yourself plays a big role on how people perceive you. And if you have a super sloppy, you know, all around shitty setup, chances are people aren't going to want to book you. Even if you're just starting out an easy, inexpensive way to tidy up your system and make it look like it's worth a lot more than what it actually is, is by simply investing in a hundred dollar facade. Now there's many different types of DJ facades that you can get. You can get some as cheap as 100 to 150 bucks or you can get the one that I personally have that costs 250 bucks. I use the American DJ Yvette facade. However, I do use two because I like having a nice beefy facade with five panels. Now you can get a higher end facade like a plexiglass one that's gonna cost you around 500 to a thousand bucks however I found these to be you know believe it or not more fragile than the scrim versions that I personally use and I've done well over 500 gigs with my current facade and that thing is still kicking works as good as new and that is why the 8DJ event facade rightfully deserves a spot here on my list as one of the best investments that I have ever made holding down the number nine spot is my microphones. I personally use the Shure QLXD microphones. Now these microphones are, I'm not going to lie, are pretty expensive. They cost about a thousand dollars, twelve fifty if you get the beta ones, which, you know, that's a video for another day, me explaining what the differences are. However, you're looking to spend about a thousand dollars with these microphones. And I've actually had mine for about three years. I've never, never, ever experienced a dropout with these microphones. I like them so much that I ended up buying two extra ones. So I personally have three of these microphones because they are just that damn good. I learned the hard way about microphones. I went through a ton of microphones before I actually landed on these. And all those microphones just proved to be straight up junk. Get yourself a decent set of microphones. Even if it's just one, get yourself the QLXD or ULXD if you have the money to spend. That one's a little bit more expensive. We're talking about like $500 more but it'll be well worth the money you'll thank me later at number eight I have one of the most expensive things on this list and that is Uplights. Uplights is one of the best investments you can make in your DJ business. Uplights are incredible. Sadly, more and more venues have been installing them, and honestly, they have not come down in price. They're still very pricey. At the bare minimum, you could probably get away with 12 uplights, and that's still going to be a hefty investment because on the cheaper end, you could probably get some uplights for about 150 bucks, but you do got to be careful. Remember, you get what you pay for. I found that even the Chinese ones, the decent ones, they're still around 200 bucks. So you do the math, 12 times 200 each starts to add up. 
Mines are personally $300 and I owned 24 of them. So it's a lot. I spent $7,000 on my uplights. So they can get really, really expensive. However, if you have photos and videos to show your clients, uplighting can become such an easy sale. Now you may be wondering, hey Bar, how much do I charge for uplights? Honestly speaking, when I got my first set of 12, they weren't even the same ones. Some of them were like the ones that you plug into the wall and only six of them were actually battery powered. I was charging 350 bucks for 12. When I got 18, I jacked that rate up to 500 and now I have 24 and I asked for 650 for 24 uplights. You can do it other ways. I know a lot of guys charge per fixtures. I know a lot of guys, you know, charge well over that. So I cannot recommend enough you getting yourself a set of uplights. At the number seven spot is one of the newest additions to my rig and that is my sparkler units. Over the past couple of years, these units have dramatically come down in price and now they're a lot more affordable. Just about four or five years ago, if you wanted to get sparkler units, it was gonna cost you around 10 to $15,000. That's a lot of money and this is the reason why a lot of guys didn't quite jump into it. However, then came along China and of course now every DJ and their mom has sparklers and the price has come down significantly. When I bought mine, they were $4,000, so about $1,000 each unit. But because so many more companies are making these, it's just driving the price down and down. Now a set of these Chauvin units that I personally have are now about 3,500 bucks, which is honestly a great deal because you can sell these for quite a bit of money. I have been personally making a killing with my sparkler units because not only can I use them for my personal events, but I've also done plenty of outside rentals with these units where I give them to other DJs or I'll go set them up at a wedding that I'm not even a part of. And it's just been a great return on investment. Now, remember when I said four or five years ago, these things were really expensive. Guys were getting like 1500 bucks for two units. And I'm sorry to report that those days are long gone. The market is just not there anymore. Now these are a lot more accessible as couples have options. Before there might've been one or two guys that might've had these. However, now a ton of DJs have them. In some markets you can easily still get a thousand to $2,000 for these sparkler units. However, I'm finding that now realistically the price for two units is more around 650 to a thousand dollars and then it goes up from there once you start adding units prices will vary based on the market that you are at so just figure out what makes sense for you and like I said these are not that expensive anymore you can easily get a set of four for about two thousand dollars and you can start making some decent money with them and if you are doing sparklers guys please practice safety it only takes one guy to ruin it for all of us so please practice safety using the sparks at number six we have monogram or gobo projectors and man i just gotta say this is straight up just easy money this is like shooting fish in a barrel and i oftentimes find myself using monograms as a leverage tool to get more sales because quite frankly it doesn't cost me anything so an easy way to get into monograms is honestly by just buying a projector and then getting the colorado sound and light mount which I made a video on I'll link it up in the card above and in the description of this video in the low end you can be looking to spend about $500 for a projector but you can also be charging your clients $500 for a monogram projector. Now, some of you guys are asking, how does it cost you nothing? Well, you see, I'm lucky enough to have a YouTube channel, so the projector, the mount, all that stuff was sent to me, and I also have a graphic design background, so I can make the designs myself. Now, if you have zero knowledge of Photoshop, you could be looking to spend anywhere from, I would say, 30 to 60 bucks on an actual gobo coin or a actual designer to design the actual design itself but again you can sell monograms for an easy easy 300 bucks and you can charge as high as five i've seen a lot of guys charging 800 if you get animated monograms
monograms, which again, it's gonna cost you a little bit more. It might cost you about a hundred bucks to get an animated monogram. There's plenty of websites you can check out. Projectogram, they're one of the best people in the game. I'll link them down below as well. I don't know what it is, but people love seeing their name in big letters in lights plastered on some building somewhere. So you cannot go wrong by investing in a monogram projector. Trust me, you're gonna make your money back tenfold. At number five, we have a photo booth. A photo booth is by far the easiest way to increase your closing cost, your altogether invoice total. An easy way to increase that is by including a photo booth with your services. Now there's a ton of different ways that you can go about this. I've seen a lot of guys praising, you know, iPad booths. I'm personally more of a fan of a traditional booth with a printer and an attendant. I'm really not a fan of those iPad booths. I think the images look kind of shitty and I think it's it's just a shitty service to offer your clients all around. That's why I personally don't offer it. However, as a business owner, I can see why iPad booths are very attractive to somebody wanting to get into the photo booth game, quite frankly, because their ease of use and the fact that you don't really need an attendant there. If you can spring for it, honestly speaking, the price difference isn't going to be that much because all in, you're looking to spend about, I would say four to $5,000 on a pretty good photo booth. And the return on that investment is going to be really high because you can easily charge anywhere between $800 to $1,500 on a photo booth. The operating expenses of a photo booth can vary wildly. It depends on how much you pay your attendant and then it also depends on the media, the printer that you have. But in general, I would say it's going to cost you around 300 to 350 bucks to operate a photo booth. However, if you're charging a thousand dollars, that's still another $700 on top of your DJ services that you're going to be taking at the end of the night. Speaking for me personally, I would say photo booth goes out in about 80% of the gigs that I personally do. So it's an investment that you're definitely going to make your money on. For more information about photo booths, check out my channel. I've made a couple of of photo booth centric videos and I'm gonna link them down in the description of this video as well as up in the card up above definitely go out and get yourself a photo booth you'll thank me later next up in our list coming in at the number four spot is going to be an investment that you guys absolutely have to get on ASAP and this is specifically true if you are just getting started if you're just getting up and running if your DJ business is totally new this is one of the very very few investments that you're going to be able to recoup your money the first time you sell it. Let me explain. So a part can, this is my favorite light. It is super versatile and here's what I mean that you're going to be able to make your money back right away. When I first started out DJ weddings, I was only charging a thousand bucks. But in order to increase my profit margin, what did I do? I added dance floor lighting. So I bought two part cans and two O clamps and I stuck them right underneath my speakers. Shout out to all my OG viewers who've seen those gig logs. And what did I charge for that? I used to charge 200 bucks for the two lights and I used to just call it dance floor lighting. I had some ADJ part cans that back in that time they were only 80 bucks. I think now they're a little bit more expensive and now I have bought the higher end ones which are made out of metal. The ones I personally now recommend are the ADJ 5p hex those are about $200 each so it'll cost you about $400 to get two however you can still get those old plastic ones that only cost a hundred bucks if you get two of those it's gonna cost you 200 and then you can turn around and sell that for 200 at every single gig so I made 40 bucks profit from my initial 160 buck investment so it was just an all-around great deal and man park cans are super versatile I cannot recommend simple parkans enough. My go-to set is the 5P Hex from American DJ. Highly recommend these. And again, you're going to be making your money back super quick with these. At the number three spot is another special effect. And yes, you probably guessed it. It's dancing on the clouds. Man, this is 
such an easy, easy sale. All you need to do is just get a video recording of it. Show them what it is. They're either gonna love it or they're gonna hate it. However, you're gonna find that most of the time, if they love it, it's gonna be a must have. They're gonna want it and they're gonna pay for it. Now, when I first got my first Nimbus, it only cost me 850 bucks and now these things have gone up in price. They're now about 1200 bucks, which is way higher than what I paid for it originally. Originally, I paid $850 for one Nimbus. And you know what I was charging clients for it? I was charging $300 bucks for the dancing on the cloud effect. What did it cost me? It cost me $50 in dry ice to get the effect. I was making about $250 bucks in profit. But then, what did I do? I noticed that the effect wasn't full enough. I noticed that there were still some patches on the dance floor and I hated it. I want to give my clients the absolute best service possible possible so I added a second Nimbus and I started charging clients 400 bucks so I've been charging 400 bucks ever since I added my second Nimbus however the prices of the Nimbus have gone up and the prices of dry ice has gone up so for the 2022 season I am bumping up the rate of a Nimbus from 400 to 500 bucks and I'm sure you can charge the same because this is such a visual effect if you have the videos if you have the photos to to show clients it is going to be an easy sell so I highly recommend that you look into investing in a Nimbus all right down to the final two and holding down that coveted number two spot is going to be my movers I personally use the ADJ focus spot three Z's and man I got so lucky with these because American DJ they sponsored me and that was actually the first video that was sponsored here on my channel so they sent those out to me and they were like hey man use these at your gigs and I was like sure thing so initially my base investment was zero dollars I just started a YouTube channel and they were kind enough to send those out to me I made videos on them I promoted them like crazy but man I honestly do love those lights so much that I ended up buying two extra ones which is how I ended up with four when I first got these I honestly didn't know how to price them I didn't know how to actually go about selling them I didn't know how to you know make the jump from having the little park hands underneath my speakers to having a more professional grade fixture that moved around and washed the dance floor and created spotlights so I was really undervaluing the price of them I was charging 350 bucks for two lights and then I was charging 500 for four. Two years ago, I raised the price to 500 and 850 respectively for two and four. And I'm due for another upgrade this year. I'm thinking about going to 650 and a thousand bucks for two and four respectively. But I haven't made the jump yes yet. I just think it's going to be a steep ass. These lights go out to, I would say, about 85% of the gigs that I do. It's either these or up lights. And man, they have just been an absolute great return on investment and during the sales process if you can convey that they create spotlights that you can highlight the cake that you can highlight their first dance things like that they are gonna absolutely love you so you know if you can go out and learn some DMX I've also made a ton of videos here on my channel about how to DMX your lights properly all right we are down to the final one but before we get into that final one I do want to give an honorable mention to my workhorses I I wanted to include them but I felt like that would be ripping you guys off because you know it's things that go out to every single event so I gotta give a huge shout out to my Ram Pro Master one of the best investments I've ever made best 20,000 that I have ever spent in addition I gotta send a huge shout out to my DDJ 1000 SRT in just a year my DDJ 1000 has more than a hundred gigs under its belt and lastly my workhorses my babies my SRX speakers both my my sub and my tops these things are absolute beasts just like my facade these things go out to every single event so they have well over 500 events under their belt and they are still kicking the JBL SRX speakers are by far one of my best investments that I've ever made and we finally made it down to number one and yes it's going to be a little bit controversial but I don't care I'm gonna do it because I think this is by far the best investment you can make as a a DJ it's controversial but I don't care I'm gonna do it so holding down that coveted number one spot drum roll please is going to be 
a camera. I know some of you guys are saying this isn't a photography channel. What do you mean a camera? Hear me out. The reason I've been as successful as I have been in this mobile DJ world is honestly not because my sales ability. It's honestly not because I'm the world's greatest DJ. It's because of these things, these cameras. There was a common trend among each and every single one of the products that we discussed here today, and that was being able to show your clients. And how do you do that? You do that by filming, taking photos, and taking videos of everything that you do. Don't sell the steak, sell the sizzle. And how do you do that? You do it with cameras. I can't tell you how many times I find myself in a situation where people direct message me saying, hey, can you give me some work? Hey, I'm a DJ too. Hey, I can do what you do. And then I ask them one simple question. Do you have a video? And the answer is always no. Right now, I'm asking you guys to be honest. If I were to ask you, show me a video of you DJing or show me a video of you doing grand introductions at a wedding, how many of you guys would actually be able to do that? And I started this YouTube channel and I started charging a thousand dollars. Fast forward five years later, I'm now making at some events well over five thousand dollars, which is ridiculous. And honestly speaking, it's not because again, I'm the world's greatest DJ it's because I started filming myself and showing people what I do at weddings what I do at my events so these guys are so powerful you can have all the equipment in the world but if you can't sell it then you're not gonna make any money off of it and this whole video the point of it was for you to be able to make money <laughs> Investing in a camera is one of the best things you could do for your DJ career. I started out with this little guy right here and I would say still 90% of my videos here on my channel except for the last year or so were all shot on this little guy right here. These cameras are about six to eight hundred bucks. They have multiple versions of them. This is the Canon G7X Mark II. This is my favorite one. They do have a Mark III but the focusing is uh, not the best. I always complain about it here on my YouTube. YouTube channels if you guys hear me say the focus sucks now last year I wanted to up the video quality on my video so I switched to these bad boys I now have two of these guys the one I'm filming on right now and what I do is I just set it up at each and every single one of my gigs and I do what I do and I record it I later get home chop it up and post it to my Instagram post it to my YouTube channel and it just does the work people find me because of these little stupid videos that I make here on the internet trust me when I say this the best investment I ever made as a DJ was this little guy right here bros thank you so much for watching this video I do hope you guys enjoyed it I did my best to provide as much detail and provide pricing if you enjoyed it and found this video helpful please smash that like button subscribe if you're new around here and don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can be notified next time we do another DJ investment video thank you bros so much for being awesome and I'll catch you in my next one peace Bye.